small bowel obstruction is an important and common cause of acute abdominal pain presenting to hospital. Being able to clinically assess patients with suspected small bowel obstruction and make a diagnosis using appropriate imaging is vital for any medical student and junior doctor. Abdominal x-rays are the most commonly used imaging investigation that we use to confirm our diagnosis of small bowel obstruction. And therefore, it's vital that you're able to interpret abdominal x-rays and identify the presence of small bowel obstruction confidently and competently. And at the end of this video tutorial, that's exactly what you'll be able to do. Here, you can see a normal x-ray on the left-hand side and an abnormal x-ray showing small bowel dilatation on the right-hand side. And we should be able to instantly appreciate that there's a significant difference between the two images. Looking more closely, in abdominal x-rays of small bowel obstruction, the features we normally expect to see are centrally located dilated small bowel with a diameter of more than three centimeters. We can tell that these loops of bowel are in fact small bowel rather than large bowel due to the presence of valvuli coniventus, which are near circumferential folds of mucosa, which we can see as lines that traverse the diameter of the bowel. An additional feature that we may see on abdominal x-ray is the presence of fluid levels within the dilated small bowel loops. However, this is not evident on this image. It's also important that we obtain an erect chest x-ray, principally to exclude the presence of any free air under the diaphragm, which would suggest the presence of small bowel obstruction and a GI tract perforation. If you enjoyed watching this video, then make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great free content. Or if you want to make sure you know what you need to know for med school, then subscribe to surgicalteaching.com for more great videos, learning forums, and MCQs.